ascensions let me correct myself and say your no contact reading with angelic ascensions tarot hope all is well with you my name is angela for those of you who are brand new and i think i just said that let's get right into this reading again this is going to be a reading for the virgo sun moon rising and venus and i wanted to say taurus so badly but i know i'm reading for virgo I don't know, maybe you have a Taurus in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with enough. Another Virgo. Maybe you're dealing with another Earth sign. I love myself enough to walk away. <sighs> and you're not a part of my plan. All right. <clears throat> Somebody might be giving off that impression that you're not enough, you're not a part of their plan. Whether that's now or maybe that happened in the past. Maybe you felt like you were not in this person's plans. Maybe you didn't feel like this person valued you or vice versa. Remember, the reading can always be reversed in this situation. So bear that in mind. I'm different now. I feel like there is somebody that really is thinking about you. And maybe they feel like they've made a costly mistake. Some of you, somebody might have a drinking issue. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I mean. So you're dealing with a Gemini. <clears throat> somebody is depressed over this situation because somebody um, may have realized too late. Somebody may have realized too late or they're under the impression that yes, it's too late. In spite of the fact that they might be different now. That might be true. That's just going to depend. And we're going to look at that in a minute. This is going to depend on everyone's situation. Okay, so somebody's missing you. Did I say somebody's an alcoholic? Somebody might drink a lot. Somebody might be overseas. Random, somebody might work in, I want to say healthcare, but I mean hospitality restaurant type of situation. Virgo, here you are. Some cases, this might be you really missing somebody. Maybe really taking some time to take inventory of the fact that it's over yep some of you are dealing with a scorpio but you got the death card with Vir with the hermit card right behind it so something's really over you're missing somebody you may want to go back towards somebody but you feel like it's too late somebody is rather defensive could have been defensive in the relationship could have been defensive when you confronted them about a third party situation because it feels like some way or another you may have found out the truth a virgo or a cross watcher no this is not your story bear in mind if i didn't say this already i already see a third party situation if this doesn't sound the slightest bit familiar to you this could be happening with the third party especially if they moved on with somebody else this might be their storyline playing out in your storyline Anyway, somebody is walking away from something. There's been a lot of fighting, a lot of tension, and something is not just done, but it's done done. You got the world with the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away and feeling like something is over. Maybe having something to do with a Julio. Maybe something has dawned on somebody. This could be you. This could be your storyline. I love myself enough to walk away. And somebody is giving you this no nonsense impression that it is too late we're gonna find out why it feels that way why something is too late a lot of you like i said it has something to do with a third party we're walking away from a fire sign aries leo sag maybe Taurus, you feel like you put in your your um blessed sweat and tears with somebody you really gave your all to somebody, but maybe you feel like it wasn't good enough. Oh, some of you it's over because of a pregnancy. That may have put the nail in the coffin in your situation. Somebody may have found out that maybe you got your side chick pregnant. So random. Somebody might have gestational diabetes. Who am I ready for? Virgo. 
Some of you, you you're um, about to give birth. Might be in your last trimester. Some of you, where are we? I don't know. Some of you may have just found out you're pregnant. Because I feel like July is significant. July hasn't even occurred yet. Some of you might be finding out that you're pregnant in the month of July. Some of you could be adopting a child. You could be getting some good news about that. Some of you could be finding a surrogate. Spending too much time on that. But I can't help but to notice that. And I feel like that was for somebody. Somebody is very confused about their feelings for you. I don't want to call you Scorpio so badly. Virgo. Somebody is really confused about their feelings for you. Oh, yeah. Somebody might need to. I'm going to go back to this pregnancy situation. Somebody might not be getting prenatal care. Especially if you, you might not realize you have gestational diabetes and you might really need to get some medical attention. This is not to alarm you. This is to inform and that's always the case. It's never to scare anybody. So I don't want anybody to really think that. But I do feel like somebody is rather emotional thinking about you. And I do feel Virgo or cross watcher that there is somebody that really wants to tell you how they feel. They might be searching for some type of answer. You know, aside from talking to you, obviously, because you guys are not in communication, they could be searching online for some type of answer. I don't know. Somebody could even be going to a psychic, psychic reader, maybe for some type of answer. Or maybe some of you read for yourself. Maybe you're watching a lot of tarot. I don't know. I see an instigator to your situation as well, some of you. I want to say this, but I feel like, okay, yep. The month of September, I feel like is significant. So you could be due in September. Oh, Virgo, your birthday month might be a significant time. And some of you are August Virgos, by the way. But yeah, I feel like there's a potential here for a new relationship to begin. But for some reason, I feel like somebody there's a barrier keeping you guys apart besides the fact that you're not talking there's something deeper i feel like it's deeper than the third party situation some of you maybe somebody ended something with their baby mama and somebody might be thinking about going back to their baby's mom but somebody is really under the impression that something is over because somebody is giving off this vibe that it's time to let this go it feels like somebody has walked away permanently from some, something. It does feel like somebody is thinking about you. And as they think about you, they think about calling you. Some of you could be dealing with someone who is very introverted. Very to themselves, very quiet, very reserved. And I feel like there could be some um, messages that could be coming to you in your dreams or maybe you guys might be meeting up on the astral realm talking about some things maybe you have a very telepathic connection with this person maybe they're speaking to you telepathically and it could be um it could be you Virgo or like I said this could be earth sign to earth sign relationship towards Virgo Capricorn they can't talk to you verbally about something, about these deep emotions that they have for you. So, like I said, they're sending you messages either through dream state or through um, tele telepathy. Some of you Virgoans are dealing with a water sign. I did say Scorpio. I can't seem to escape the zodiac sign of Scorpio. But this could be Pisces. This could be a Cancerian. Somebody feels heavily judged. Oh, some of you, you might have a child. There might be a child that might not approve of your relationship. Somebody's not ready to um, open up emotionally to you. Some of you, this is your friends. Maybe you had a fallout with a friend over some issues here. Maybe you did have to walk away from a friend of yours because they betrayed your trust in some type of way. Oh, 
Could have been somebody talking about you behind your work, your back. Some of you, this is some type of drama or beef that may have taken place at work. It feels like deception and rumors. May have, one thing may have led to another. It could have caused conflict and beef between you and somebody. But <clears throat> mainly for some of you that were in a love relationship, it feels like somebody wanted maybe some freedom to sleep around. And maybe you were keeping their options open. Maybe you caught them in a lie. And maybe it led to some type of divorce. Some of you, your divorce could be finalized. Could be in its final stages. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. And some of you, you're dealing with somebody with a lot of, a lot of walls up. Either this is you, Virgo, putting up some walls here. Or cross watcher. The other one feels like the other one is demanding. Maybe you feel like somebody was condescending. And random, somebody might have anxiety and depression. You got a Leo. Oh, these came out together. Strength and the sun, no doubt. You had a lot of majors in your reading because beneath that is the world. Excuse me, the world. A lot of majors in your reading. You got a Leo. Some of you might be waiting for communication from a Leo that maybe broke your heart. Could have been somebody with predominant Leo that puts you in a, um, a third party situation. Something is over. Somebody does not feel like something can be worked out. Whether this is true or false. Whether this is just a perception or this is the, 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 the frank truth about something. Yeah, somebody feels like, you know what, you were playing too many games. And they feel like this relationship was something that brought them down. And somebody is like tired of this. They're over it. They definitely have seen the red flags. They're definitely aware. And for some of you, something did take place online. Maybe you guys had some type of online beef to a cups. I'm telling you, somebody wants to be with you again. Somebody wants to reunite with you. And this could be the secret admirer, somebody that is watching you from a distance, but not saying anything. It feels like somebody is like daring themselves to say something to you, to communicate with you, but they're just not. They're not bringing this offer to you. Maybe they feel like they don't have an opportunity to bring this offer to you. Why? And I feel like it's really tearing somebody apart here. And no doubt you have a Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You guys may have been through this again and again. You may have get, given this person second, third, fourth chances. Somebody in this scenario, for some of you, is more interested in a social life than being in a relationship. Somebody in the past was not really emotionally invested. Maybe this is you no longer emotionally invested because, yes, you're saying it's too late. I've gone ahead and pulled back my emotion from this situation because I'm tired of being hurt over and over again. And I promise you, it feels like somebody, I did say addictions. Yeah. Somebody might have an issue keeping their mouth shut too. Random. Somebody might be well endowed. And some of you could be dealing with somebody who is possessive. Somebody is really clinging to you or something very tightly and somebody is having a difficult time letting go and so this ace of cups that I feel like somebody wants to bring to you somebody wants to maybe bring some type of newness to the situation somebody honestly does not feel like it's realistic for you guys to start from scratch and maybe this person had to choose between you and someone else and maybe there was other people that really had a say in your relationship. So it feels like at this point, somebody is looking forward. They're no longer looking back. 
Why? Because somebody is saying, I'm walking away from this. It's time to let you go. I'm looking forward, not backward. Yes, it's too late. Again, somebody is tired. They're over it. The heartache, the games that are being played. For some of you, this is a friend that's talking about you behind your back. You're tired of it. The lies, the deception. It does truly feel like Virgo or Cross Watcher. There could be somebody approaching you. Some chances are it could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <sighs> yeah. Because it does honestly feel like somebody is trying to work up the courage to come and give you this new beginning, to come and bring you this love offer. But it feels like somebody might have to get their life in control. Because uh, if I didn't say it already, I did say somebody's an alcoholic. Or this could just be like a very toxic relationship. Some of you Virgo ones could be going to a going through rather a divorce. Some of you are going through a divorce and somebody really doesn't want a divorce. Others of you, there's somebody that's getting out of jail. And this person could be reconnecting with you in this way. This could be a friend or family member. There is somebody that I feel Virgo or cross watcher that may have seen you move on with somebody else. And they're feeling very jealous. For some of you, this is a player. Some of you, this is your baby's dad. Somebody felt like being in a relationship and being com committed was a hassle. And so, I don't know. And then I'm also feeling like some of you could have felt pitted against. Maybe, there, like I said, there were some naysayers in this relationship. Maybe somebody felt like this could be your kids. And maybe felt like they had to come between you and um, their other parent. That they had to choose, rather, between you and the other parent. Some of you, somebody is like completely clueless about why you're mad at them. Some of you, that might be the case. But some of you, this is no doubt. A soul, you have a soul tie with this person. Somebody that you have a soul tie with would like for you to open up your heart. They definitely feel like I did say you have walls up. They feel like you have completely shut them out, possibly, for some of you. You don't want anything to do with them. And there honestly is somebody that wants to come toward you, Virgo, but they may not know what to say. And it could be this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But right behind this person is, I feel like there's somebody that's hell-bent on keeping the two of you separate. Somebody, somebody really does not want to see the two of you together. And I feel like, honestly, there could be spell work being done in this situation. And I feel like that's going to run its course. And I feel like somebody might feel like... Their tactics are going to work, and I feel like somebody's tactics and spell work is going to blow up in their face. So, um, where do we go from here? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody, I feel honestly, wants to at least be friends. So random. Somebody might have very distinct eyes <laughs> maybe a very distinct mouth I don't know or maybe you just can't believe what they say like yeah, you are telepathically connected some of you I did say somebody's a psychic right somebody is a witch I mentioned witchcraft yeah Somebody might do this professionally. Um, it does feel like there's going to be communication very soon. Um, it feels like there could be a phone call or a text message. I don't know. This could even be, what do you call this, social media? It feels like there's going to be a message sent first. The message... This message may be difficult to convey. This is why, I mean, some of you, I don't know, it could be a water sign. Some of you, it feels like somebody might be afraid to become overcome with emotions. This message might come with a degree of emotional stress. I don't know, they might even feel that thinking about you takes up a lot of energy and time. 
And if I didn't say Leo, let me go ahead and emphasize Leo here. I did say Leo before in this reading though. I don't know. Um, I honestly feel like somebody has overcommitted themselves to, to this relationship, to the, some of you, this is your job. You've overcome, you've overcommitted yourself to a job or a relationship at the expense of your health. So I'm telling you, some of you might have some underlying health issues. Like I said, some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Somebody has cut the other one off, has seen the truth about some, some type of deception. Yeah. All right. So let's see. We're trying to see what the next move is, right? So what happens after this, Holy Spirit? What's next? What is next for the Virgoans? True love and stay optimistic. Okay. So somebody, it's clear that somebody still has a lot of love for you. But at the same time, they're fighting it because they realize maybe it really is truly time to release you. In some cases, this person may have felt like maybe you didn't take the effort. You didn't make enough of an effort. This could even be your children. This could be your kids that want you to release this person and make more of an effort with them. But it feels like there could be some healing to some type of family issues, some type of family discord, family feuds, family issues with relationships. Yes, it feels like someone is going to take the lead. Somebody may take action in this situation. Right, some of you, this could be an interracial relationship. Somebody's going to take action. Yeah. It's like somebody's not comfortable watching you just completely walk out of their life, Virgo or cross watcher. Yeah, but something might take a little bit of time. Something may happen here according to divine timing. This person may take action in time, but it doesn't feel like this person is like in any type of a rush. Yeah, and it may leave some of you feeling like it's unlikely that this is going to play out. And some of you may be completely oblivious that this person still cares. And somebody might be thinking, you know what, it's, it's an absolute no. There's no way possible that this could even play out in my favor. But for some of you, yeah, there is a delay within the next few months. From any, any time between the time that you see this reading, throughout the next few months, I feel like this summer is gonna be very significant for you. Some of you may get some type of communication within the next few months. And I feel like Virgo or cross watcher, this puts you in this position to make a decision. It really is up to you. It really is up to you about whether or not you decide to hear this person out or not. But the truth is there is somebody that hopes that you will reconsider and remain positive and not completely write them off. So this is what I see for you, Virgoans. Oh yeah, but it feels like right now isn't the right time. Either literally it's not the right time because like I said, somebody might be in a relationship. Somebody might be waiting for you to release your ex or soon to be ex. You're in a relationship. They feel like it's not the right time or they're just delaying it. And so maybe they feel like they've tried or maybe they just feel like it really is up to you because you've given off this vibe that it really is too late. They're like, why should I approach you if I'm going to get this abrasive type of vibe from you? This type of thing. Well, with that, Virgoans, this concludes, Virgoans and cross watchers, this concludes your no contact reading with Angelic Ascensions. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the way to do so would be to go directly to my website which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can find your link, the link to my website below. Hey, do me a favor. If this reading helped you in some type of way, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. And if you decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me.